This beer bottle shows what can happen when a blast wave injures the brain. Let me explain. When people in the military fire heavy weapons, an invisible blast wave goes through their brain. That damage can pile up and lead to some pretty profound problems. The injury troops experience is a lot like what football players experience in a way. The difference with the military is that it's not a hit to the head, it's a shock wave. Basically, an explosion causes a supersonic wave that hits the brain. And just like a wave going through the ocean, it ripples through the brain tissue and can cause damage. And that can add up and cause some pretty serious problems. There's this old party trick where you can take a full beer bottle and smack the top and blow out the bottom of the glass. Scientists who study the physics of blast waves think something similar is happening in the brain. We're gonna hit the top of a beer bottle with a mallet. And that should send a shock wave down through the liquid inside. The shockwave is gonna go down through the liquid and when it bounces off the glass on the bottom, it creates a very brief vacuum. In that vacuum, water vapor turns to bubbles. And when those bubbles expand suddenly and then implode, boom, the glass breaks. This is what a growing number of scientists think happens when a blast wave hits the brain. Just like a beer, the brain is largely water and just like a beer, the brain is surrounded by a hard case. In this case, it's not a bottle, it's the skull. Also just like the beer, the damage in the brain seems to happen not where the hit actually happens, but on the other side where the wave bounces back. If that theory is correct, then the damage would be found anywhere there's a change in the stiffness or density of the tissue that would reflect the shock wave. And in fact, that is exactly what scientists have found in autopsies of brains that were repeatedly exposed to blasts. I've been writing about the military for more than 15 years, and honestly, this was news to me. People may not even realize that they are being injured, and the symptoms, which include things like sleeplessness, anxiety, uh, paranoia, uh, they can look a lot like PTSD. This is an issue that impacts almost everybody in the military. People firing large artillery cannons, mortars, uh, career Navy SEALs, but the amazing thing is, to a large extent, the military doesn't even recognize that it's happening.